for the postman, Professor Belly Mail. This is not a glorification or a glamorization. This is an education. You can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and 15. Lock the door. I will also uh back coming back with Swanee Fly of Hood Post Man. I want to talk about sometimes that relationships are blurred in, in the sense of color lines and well like half of your family may be from this hood, it may be from that hood, but y'all still family. And I and I and I was um read a piece of history uh and it was regards to Tricky Dick and Baby Knot and uh Crazy Ray, right? And they were all three brothers. But and I don't know if you can explain it, but at least try, if you can, articulate sometime how these things happen and still, they still remain family, even though, you know, they from different sides. Have have you ever seen that or do you, are you aware of that? Yeah, I've been, I, I was aware of that in the 80s, right? And I used to always, maybe not, my homie, rest in peace, love that dude, solid soldier. Uh, Tricky Dick, my big homie, love him, solid soldier, uh, Crazy Ray, much respect. Rest in peace from Fire Trey. Uh, yeah, they, they, yeah, baby. Now you used to always tell me about Crazy Ray, you know, and uh, and his brother from Fire Trey. They, 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 they a good family. They come from a, a hard, a hard, long line of, of good dudes out their family, man. And they, they were solid. You know, it's just fortunate that uh, Crazy Ray rest in peace and not rest in peace. Uh, they was good brothers. They acknowledged each other, and, and all, both of them were solid, and both of them was OGs. And, and Tricky, my big homie, and I loved him. And uh, you know, and that's uh, that's uh, you know, knowing them and and never met Crazy Ray before, uh, but Tricky and not my nigga, and the baby not my nigga, hands down. And uh, Tricky, my big homie, and I acknowledge that. And they always they always stayed together. They they acknowledged each other. They was around each other, and uh, they. Uh, they were solid. That's that's what I can get. So you. two was on the villain side and one was from the fire tray side. Yes. Yeah, that's interesting. I, I can imagine what Thanksgiving was like. <laughs> <laughs> I just couldn't imagine. But let's get back to it. Um, Zadies. How important? Zabies. Zabies. I keep saying it wrong. Zabies. Yeah. How important was Zabies? Because when you got to Zabies, you saw all that graffiti up there. You knew exactly where you was at. Zabies. There was no question about that. Man, Zabies, man, Zabies was the uh, Zabies was the shit, man. All the villains how I got there, man. You know, Zabies was uh, the phone boots. You know, homies calling from from the county jail. We asked the phone booth right there. All the homies hanging out, man. Zabies was. We like the homies say, Zavy Babies, man. Zavy's was the. So that was a real term, Zavy's Babies. Yeah, yeah. You know, Zavy's was a. Uh, that was the lick, man. Zavy's was a store we, we all went to to hang out, buy beers, homie smoke weed, you know, shot dice. We don't shoot $2, $3, you know. We kicked it. When other hoods came through there, even when the Pueblos came, you know, they come to Zavy's, you know, let's go hang out with the villains, you know what I'm saying? 20 to 20 outlaws, the 30 pot rules. The 40 pot rules, you know what I'm saying? They come hang out with the villains up at Xavier's, you know, and all bloods from the west side, they come hang out with the villains at Xavier's. Xavier's was the fresh old man, love Xavier's, miss it, miss it today, man. They turned it into a, a wash house, man, but <laughs> Zay, back in the days, man, Xavier's was the hangout, man. Man, y'all probably was everything. up there buying them teas and everything else, talking about your dice. <laughs> <laughs> I know how it go, man. When you hustling, you hustling, man. It, 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 everything's over. But I want to give a shout out to Fat Daddy, uh, Hooper Rock, Adam Ant, my boy Loco Mike, and my boy Crow also. You know, I just, I had to acknowledge those guys. And also, ball game out of the Fire Nine, Brims in San Diego, wanted to give you a shout out as well. So I had to give him a mention in that. But, man, it's good that, that you were able to come in and sit down with me because that was just a multitude of, of people down there in that end, in that section. I remember Sir George. Yeah, Sir George started off on the corner with the jeans, man. You can go get yeah. all the jeans you want. All the jeans you want. <laughs> and then there was, a, a, like you say, Zabies. Uh, and there was other places around there that was like, where we even we come away from Compton to go to Sir George, you know what I mean? Right. So 
And then that's what I was looking at. But who was some of the best graffiti artists? Because some of that graffiti was like off the chain. Oh right? man, the homies hit up, man. <laughs> the homies hit up. You know, I, I you know I want to mention their names. Yeah, no, no, the no, homies, no, that's good. But the homies hit up though. I think we have some of the best uh, best writers off the east side, man. And probably on the west side, man, the villains got graffiti, man, writers, man. I'm telling you. People probably, you know, banging against hoods and they know, man, we had some hell of a writers, homie. We we struck up. When it struck up, we struck up. Roll call. I'm talking about nice uh, nice graffiti, man. Yeah, that calligraphy was real straight and line. You could read it really well. And it, and it was like anybody who was like a civilian, you saw it. You knew exactly where you was at because... You know, you, you was read a, read the wall. Exactly. <laughs> read the wall. <laughs> Tell yeah. the story, man. Man, we struck up everywhere, homie. We had homies striking up everywhere on the buses. On, but the writing from our hood, we got a lot of homies that had good handwriting. And I, I can vouch for that. I don't know if they can do it now. They kind of old now, but, yeah. but they had some dudes that really wrote. How know, is Hooper really Rock, right, by the way? Oh, he all right, man. I talked to him. I talked to him the other day on the phone. He's doing good. Hopefully, my brother get to come home. That's a little bro. I love him to death, man. I want him to come home and get his stuff right, man. He's a solid homie, down homie. A lot of dudes ask about him. And, you know, he, he he's a real villain, man, at the end of the day. I yeah, just, we were in the half fed halfway house together. Right. I just want him to be all right when he come home, man, because I love the brother, man. I just want him to be all right, man. He's solid, solid as hell, man. And hope that when he get home, man, that he can uh, change and get on the right path and do what he do. Got it. How was the softball league going? Oh, man, softball league. Oh, man, we just had a uh, a game up at uh, Gonzalez Park. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, what they say, Bompton Roosters against the LABs. It was a good game, man. Everybody came out. A lot of blood hoods came out. You know, we got together, man. A lot of blood hoods was at the park, man. And uh, we had tents. We served food, man. We got together, and we did it like the 80s, man. It wasn't nothing to let these dudes. A lot of dudes don't know each other. They don't go nowhere. But, man, it was a blessing that God put that cover over us that we didn't have no type of incidents at the park, man. It was a lovely game. It ended up with a tie. People was tied, and... And man, got to get a shout out to the Boston Roosters. They did what they they did. They did their thing, man. But we did our thing too. And it was just a it was just a tie, man. We trying to who won year, the game? Oh, it was a tie. Everybody oh. liked it. It was over with. Okay. Was, I think it was 22 Oh and, man, y'all uh, was hitting. Y'all was slugging. We, we played a good. We played nine in. We played eight innings. Okay. We played eight innings, man. And people came out from L.A. and, and Boston, and man, it was just it was just. Uh, it was just lovely, man. I I, I I salute the brothers that helped. The brothers from Fruit Town and uh brothers from West Side, Campanella, Luters Park, you know, a lot of lot of uh bloods out of LA, you know what I'm saying? Uh Black Stones, uh Swans, uh Villains, you know, Nine Deuce Bishops, you know, there's so many names that a gang of hoods came out and uh and helped. And man, uh, and I really salute the Fruit Towns for keeping everything right and Man, I gotta give them their props. Right on, man. Well, you know, I gotta say this too, man. One of, one of my closest friends, partners, homeboy, brother, my boy Gerald Hunter. Gerald, uh, Fitzgerald Hunter, aka Geek from the Biddy. That's my partner right there, man. He locked up right now, man, but that's my partner, man. When I came home from the feds, he took care of everything. I didn't have to go ask nobody or nothing it, it, everything was just he just pulled out a brick of money <laughs> and it kind of spooked me but hey you know because I was fresh out I'm still you know gun shy right went up in Farouk's uh, what's the other Metropolis and all them other the, 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 the uh, scent store and all that the shoe stores all of the, and got everything I needed, bro. Yeah, good brother, man. Good brother. I ain't got too much to say about the brother, but you know, yeah. good brother. Yeah, definitely, definitely. With that being said, Professor Melly Mill, Swanee Fly, Bloodstone Villains, once again, lock the door. Lock the door. Post, man. Lock the door. Lock it.
straight out of Compton, original streets Grew up with the lion, see what the criminal see Now he a giant and a pivotal key Got it down to a science, this the visual streets He came up with bullet, he came up with turtle Live life to the fullest, he put it all in the journal We dodging them bullets, we jumping them hurdles It's the hood postman, we in the streets universal uh. Hood postman, Professor Belly Mail This is not a glorification or a glamorization This is an education you can go anywhere in the world and get a couple of lives, but you come right here to get your treats. Be sure to click the notification bell, like, subscribe, and share, drop a comment down below. So when the dope content hit, it'll feel like it's the first and 15th. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door.